Here is the pen test. Things are falling. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, welcome to my star fam, my channel. My name is Cindy and you're watching Little Star Plants. And for those who are new here, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So today's video, I'll be comparing all my Hope and Nishi planner that I have owned over the two years period. Last year, I used Hope and Nishi Weeks. I used also Techo, the E6 planner. And this year, I I am using the Hope Nishi Cousin, which I have featured a lot in my videos on this channel. So definitely check those out if you haven't watched some of my Hope Nishi Cousin videos. So then I will be comparing all three planners in terms of the size, paper quality, and my experience using these planners. And hopefully this will give you a better insight of how these planners are like. So first we have Hope Nishi Cousin. It is an A5 size. I have a first impression and boxing video and more details and I'll list them in the description. For Hobonichi Cousin, in a quick summary, this, this planner does include yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily pages. Next, we have Hobonichi A6 Techo. This is the English version and it has this thicker cardboard cover here. Very nice texture. I really enjoy this cover. It's a nice size in hand. For this planner, it only provides yearly, monthly, and daily pages. So let me see. So this is the monthly. And this is the daily. And then on the back, it'll be a bunch of like notes. So this is A6. Next, we have Hope Nishi Weeks. And this is Hope Nishi Weeks. They call it the wall size. For the measurements, it's 3.75 inch by 7.4. Hope Nishi Weeks, it does come with weekly, yearly, weekly, and a few pages of notes as well. Another version of the Weeks, and it's called a Mega. The only difference between the two is that the Mega provides additional blank pages in the back. So let's talk about paper quality. So I'll bring them closer to you guys so you can see. First off, for the Hope Nishi Weeks, the paper quality is very thin and you can see a little ghosting. Most of the pens I use, the inks won't bleed through the pages, but it does leave some ghosting on the back paper. So it's not that bad. So look at that. It has a little yellow tone compared to other pages. So you can tell that these two It's more white and the weeks has more yellow tint to it. And then Hope and Nature Weeks, let's compare. You can definitely automatically can tell that they are very different in terms of color. And so for the Techo, for E6, the pen mark is, it leaves a bit of ghosting, which is fine. So here is my one of my favorite spread in the A6. Behind, you can see that my black marker is very dark on the page. And when you flip it over, it doesn't bleed through. And so for Hope and Two Weeks, I think I made a video two weeks ago on pen tests. So definitely check out if you haven't. Let me find the page. Here is the pen test. Oh, the results. Things are falling. <gasps> So here are the markers that I have tested on this Hope and Nishi Weeks, Hope and Nishi Cousin. On the back, you'll get all these ghosting, but it doesn't bleed through my pages, so which is kind of nice. Except, actually no, all of them are fine. They're kind of like peeking through. So in terms of using it, so let's talk about using it. So for Hope and Nishi Weeks, I did use these two together last year. It makes a huge difference in terms of my planning style. My planning style, I really rely on the time timeline um, compared to the Hope and Nishi Weeks. Hope and Nishi Weeks doesn't have the, the timeline in there hourly. I mainly use like stickers to indicate like the tasks that I need to work on for that day and so forth. For A6, it's mostly for like daily on the, at the time of the moment, what's happening, you write it down. And I like that. And there's a bit of like 
um, journaling in my A6 as well. So you can see that it's both are very nice. I like them both and they're very portable and very lightweight. That's very thin. So this is my whole year and surprisingly it didn't bulge out as much as I thought it would be. See this? This one? It's a little bit expanded because of the stickers that I have used over time. But if you look at the Hobonichi Cousin, um, although I did put some stickers over the, the spread, the planner itself is A5 itself. It's really so big. Here's the current view. This is the side. This is the bottom. The Hobonichi Cousin has the most flexibility of you that you can do kind of like break down on the ideas and tasks. So it comes down to what your planning style is and all three purpose have have done a great job to kind of fit everyone's needs. I have seen others use Hobonichi Weeks as a wallet as well and I find that interesting. You can totally do that for sure. And I have seen people use their A6 as a journaling so they write the actual paint and draw like artwork and also write some quotes and journaling for that day. I have seen people use a Hobonichi cousin for academic break down what classes they have, what exams and what homework do they have to work on. But in the end they're all great planners and will definitely fit anyone's needs. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Comment below and let me know which planner you're thinking about getting or if you're using any of these planners. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more planning and organization videos. And I'll see you guys next one. Bye guys.